today we're going to go down and do some troubleshooting on my ram pump. There's nothing coming out of my my pipe. But you can see inside here uh, all these leaves in my reservoir. It's that time of year. This is early October. Leaves are falling off the trees. It's very likely that my intake is clogged up with leaves coming down the creek. Uh, got a net. We can get these leaves out when I come back. All right, I'm going to take you down to the creek and we'll see what, what we can find. I've got about 400 feet of delivery pipe, three quarter inch PVC. That's a long way for water to travel with no uh, electric or gas powered pump. I'm just going to walk along the delivery line, see if I see any breaks in it or anything like that. We'll check that with you when we get down to the creek. It's quite a ways down here. I'm standing above the, the upstream side of my system. And it looks like a lot of water coming through here. This is a spring-fed creek. It has water year-round, but it is prone to uh, flash flooding. And uh, unfortunately, even though it's got a lot of water coming out of the spring, the pitch on this creek, for the most part, is about one inch every 25 feet. And it's as flat as a pancake all the way up there. The spring is about a thousand feet upstream from where we are now. So I really didn't have any good spot to put my pump. So I had to come down here to this part where this is a culvert. And there was a lot of uh, rocks and riprap here to prevent erosion. So my intake is right where you see those rocks. And the uh, supply line and the delivery pipe both run underneath this road through a culvert. Right away I can see my intake is completely buried in sand. It's not a leaf problem up here this time, it's sand. There's an amazing amount of sand in this creek. I mean, you could build a beach with it. It's real fine sand. All right, so we're gonna dig this out. What it is, is a two inch pipe with a Y split on it. And I've got some uh, perforated filter type attachments on the end of it. All right, I'm gonna put this camera down and I have to use both hands to dig this thing clean. Be back in a minute. All right, I removed the anchor rocks and lifted this thing out of the water. I can see just how clogged up this thing is. Uh, when I first installed this thing about five months ago, I used a uh, rigid PVC pipe, two inch pipe for my supply line. And twice in the first month, we had a flash flood and it actually just lifted everything up and broke my pipe. So now I'm using something called Flex PVC. It's a little different than Flex Hose. This is actually Schedule 40 PVC, but it it can be used like in a snake action. You know, you can twist and turn it around these boulders and it makes it real easy to raise and lower this intake. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. A simple matter of just, uh, I'm gonna unscrew these little filters. Be easier to clean. Probably have to dig some of this sand out. You can see what that is. That's like a an intake foot valve type thing. Uh, I I drilled the holes out a little bigger and put some holes on the 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 blunt end of it. But it's real easy to maintain. That that's clean. You just screw it back in. And we'll do the same thing for the other one. Well, I've got the. Uh, 
intake apparatus uh, lifted up out of the water. I'm just going to take my foot and if I don't fall and just kick this sand. The water is flowing pretty fast through here. All I have to do is loosen the sand and the current will take it, take it away. All I'm trying to do is make a little depression here where I can put the intake back down underwater. You don't want to have any of it exposed to the air. Air is not good for a, a supply line. All right, I've got the uh, intake under the water. I got some rocks on top of it to keep it from moving. This uh, 25 foot of flex PVC comes right on down here where I can connect it uh, to uh, regular PVC, rigid PVC. Boy, this thing got scooped out in that last storm. Let me see if I can take a big step across here and we'll go into this pipe and and see what the problem is. I can see one problem right now. I'm missing my standby. Stand by. To prevent my my pipe from uh, getting washed right through this culvert during storms, I've got it secured with some uh, uh, ties and magnets. This is metal, and I just. You know, I want it to where if there is something serious like a log or something coming through this pipe, those magnets will break loose. And uh, I just don't want to have a situation where I could be contributing to a block cover. So everything here can be moved if the current gets bad enough to warrant it. Well, this is obviously the uh, a main problem here. It looks like uh, my standpipe is, is no longer connected to my supply pipe. Oh boy. Uh, again, just in case of a flood situation like this, I did not want anything blocking this color. So I had it secured up here with a magnet. The magnet is not here anymore, so I'm hoping it's attached to that rope you see around the, the PVC pipe down there. So if so, it did exactly what I wanted it to do, and that's break loose in case of a serious flood. And uh, I'm going to go home, get a rake and some glue, and we'll see if we can get that pipe back up in here and re-secure to my supply line. I managed to pull this uh, this junction back up out of the creek, but uh, when I did, I lost my standpipe. It's down there in the deep part now. Uh, I had it I had it designed to fall off. That I did not have it glued. What I hope would happen, and what's happened in the past, is when I have a flash flood, the standpipe just comes loose, and then. Eventually, it'll wash up over there on the shallow side. But my problem today is that uh, these things are a little bit out of alignment after that last storm. And I'm putting too much pressure on this coupler here. I've got to look that glue set up. So I'm going to go back to the house and do another project. I'll come back down here later today or tomorrow and try to connect this coupler. And I'll bring me another piece of two inch pipe down from my stand. Uh, I really don't see any need to go over there and mess with that today. Not until I get this fixed. That'll save me two trips down that steep hill. Alrighty. Thought this was going to be a quick fix. Turned out to be a little more interesting than anticipated.